Mr. Speaker. This is coal. Don't be afraid. The Don't be scared. Won't the Treasurer you. knows the rule on crops. It's coal. It was dug up by men and women who work and live in the electorates of those who sit opposite. That is Scott Morrison. He brought coal to his speech in the parliament in 2017. One year later, he became the Prime Minister for Australia. Hashtag coal power. Australia, renowned for its commitment to the environmental conservation and sustainability. Home to exotic wildlife, breathtaking natural landscapes, conservation efforts, and also the Green Party. How did this become this? To answer that, let's look at Australia's energy composition. In the 1990s, coal was 80%. Well, it was part of the heritage. In the 2000s, coal was 82%. But yeah, developing economies require cheap energy, right? In the 2010s, coal is 70%. Whoa, 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 isn't it a bit too much coal for a conservational country? By the 2020s, ironically, it was during the coal prime minister's time that coal actually saw the largest reduction. And by 2022, look at it go, my hashtag progress. But even though Australia is somewhat fully supportive of the renewable energy sector, it never really had any plans to get rid of coal. It had a very inclusive plan. So why is Australia so protective of coal? Maybe, just maybe, because Australia is like the number one exporter of coal in the entire world for the past 20 years. They recently had to share that title with Indonesia, but still way ahead of the rest of the pack. Maybe that's the reason why it's a little bit hard to give up coal. And Australia doesn't just love the regular old coal, they love the dirtiest coal. The most pollutive coal, brown coal. Australia has the most pollutive coal power plant in the entire world. Granted, it was shut down in 2017 after almost 50 years in operation. But how is this one power plant responsible for 3% of the entire country's emission? Now I'm interested in finding out who owned this most pollutive coal power plant that has been running in Australia since 1971. Oh, it's government owned. Specifically, the French government. Where is carbon capture technology when you needed it? But all of that aside, there is the one state leading the way for Australia's renewable energy push. They have repeatedly managed to achieve 100% hardcore renewable fuel mix. This was done by huge investments into the renewable energy sector and also by exporting their carbon-related electricity to Victoria. It continues to become the beacon of light for renewables for the whole world. Also, in response to Scott bringing coal to the parliament, another MP brought a solar panel in response. Both were leaders of their respective parties at one point. The one that brought coal became Prime Minister a year later. The one that brought panels became the Climate Change Minister five years later. Take your pick. You're watching the Funsi Channel. Do, 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 do.